Welcome back, this is Huntner. This is our Mortalin Very Hard playthrough. We are preparing for war with the Xenox. That's right, war. War. Always with the war. These are, this is uh, one of the planets that we took from the Tekans last time. We're just gonna like, try to get all of our fleets into their best condition that they can be in. We wanna pull off troops to I'm going to build some stuff up. This is actually the Mortalin planet we took off the Xenox last time. So we're going to build some more troops here. We're going to need a bunch of tree... It wasn't Xenox, it was Tekans. The Mortalin planet we took off the Tekans last time. We're going to need lots of troops because this is going to be a pretty big war, honestly. Let's just put some colonies out. I'm on the new update now, which means we can more reliably depend on this to do it properly and I just want to build some colonies and let them go so that I can I can see them just working it looks to me like our Boscarans are finally 100% integrated because we're seeing all those Boscaran planets available now we want no lightning bolts Okay, well that hive is extraordinarily damaged. I wish I had a fleet nearby that I could kill it with, but I don't. What is this? Oh, oh, there's another swarm attacking my base where fleet three is trying desperately to load troops and uh, repair themselves. We're gonna have to move them or they're gonna get wrecked. That's bad too because this fleet has this fleet has troops on it. We don't want to lose any of our fleet our troop ships with people on them. We're gonna to have to come up with a better plan for how we're gonna handle this. Maybe we should Oh, I don't know. I guess we should send them really far away, maybe? Like like way out. Just like to a completely different system and then have them repair and refuel there. Like here up in uh, Oxum. Where is the plant? There it is. Right here. We'll send them here. They can repair and refuel here and hopefully they will jump out quick and escape. At least partially intact. This is their capital system. It is the most logical system for us to attack first, so we're just gonna go right in. They have over 5,000 troops, which will be much higher when we actually attack. So we're gonna need to destroy their infrastructure, and once we've destroyed their system infrastructure, we will bombard them until their troops are small, and we will invade them. I'm guessing, cause this is a capital, it is going to rebel over and over and over again. So I'm going to have to bring the most troops that I can bring in a relatively short period of time. We are now officially at war. I don't know why those guys liked us so much. It's weird. We never did anything to make them like us. We haven't been nice to them at all. Here we are at our captured pirate station. Oh. Is this a real attack? Is, is, he, is he really attacking? Uh, if it was intended to be a real attack, it was a very poor one. A very poor first attack on his part. So we'll kill this station. Shouldn't take long at all. And then we'll just move on to the next one. Jump from station to station until they're all destroyed. There they are. I was wondering where they were. They're, they came from the other side of the planet. That's kind of cool. Okay. And we'll just keep moving. Station to station. Uh, where, where are you guys going? Where, where are you going? What's up? That, where are you going? What's happening? You guys are crazy! What a dangerous random attack this is! What did you think you were doing? I mean, 
attack this since you're here? I guess. Uh, good job, but please don't take so much initiative in the future. <laughs> Just kill that on your way by. And you'll kill this. So we're killing the stations around the colony and uh, the second fleet down here is killing the rest of the stations we haven't blown up yet. Okay. So we have cleared the area around the colony and now we're going to blockade it. The reason we blockade it is because blockading it will cause them to automatically circle around, circle around the planet and kill all the ships that are being built. And that's what we want. So where are you guys going? I'll probably just kill the ship nearby. It's a weird turn there. Go back in here and destroy everybody. And we're nearly done. Most of the ships around here have been destroyed. Space is pretty clear. We've got the fourth, fourth fleet now has its troops, so we're just going to set it to come up here and join. It will land its troops once it's ready. What is next? Second fleet is going to come up this way. And I think... I don't know, maybe it's going to come up and kill a station up here? First fleet seems to be doing fine on its own. Yeah, none of those attacks matter. Yeah, the first fleet's doing fine on its own. Let's just clean up all of our problems. We're just going to go straight down the list and build every single one of these space stations every space station just help us with our uh with our happiness and now we're going to go to the bottom of the list of our colonies and we are going to build uh wait, no we don't we don't want to build that there we'll build that on another planet so that so that it's at the top of the queue just going to build every single government building on all the new colonies, I'm going to quickly check to see if we missed any on any of our previous colony waves, just to make sure all these planets have the best chance of getting profitable as quickly as possible. We're making money again, which is good. We were definitely not at the beginning of this episode. But... They have sent fleets in, and they are not that strong. Little do they know... I was expecting them, and I sent the second fleet to, to uh, support the first fleet. They were already weaker than us, and now they stand no chance. I actually almost feel sorry for them. I actually almost feel sorry for them. If we weren't heartless mammal dinosaur people, I would probably feel some sympathy. But, I mean, we have hearts. They're just cold, cold hearts cold space killing hearts keeping this pretty efficient things are continuing it's time to get both fleets to blockade just so that we can clear the space around hopefully the third fleet will show up soon I have a special mission planned for the third fleet we're going to send it up there, and we are going to try to capture the fuel station that's on that moon up there. It's my favorite kind of mission. As anybody who's watched up until this point knows, I love to capture fuel stations. Probably I should start actually building capturing ships, but, you know. You know, that would require technologies that I don't really want to spend. This whole system is now completely under our control. There's really nothing they can do to stop us here. This war is taking a lot longer than the Tekken War, though. They have both Tekken Wars, I should say. They have better resources, and they're better able to replenish their ships, so we're definitely having to kill ships over and over. What is this? Oh. 
they've sent some ships down to Axum. Luckily, I had sent the 6th Fleet over there, so the 6th Fleet will be able to handle it. And... Still fighting. The fight still goes on. So we're on our capture mission. We have lined the base up. Our guys are going in there to do their job, strip the shields and the armor, and put our troops on it. Oh, look at that. That's sneaky. They are trying to stop us. This is the first time I've actually seen them try to stop us. Um, the combat ships, now that we've switched to boarding, the combat ships have turned away to try to stop the ships that are intercepting us, which is great. I like the way the ship, the fleets, the multi, uh, multi-ship fleets work together. I like the way they, uh, coordinate. It, it can be pretty dynamic, which is a really nice part of this game. And they're boarded. They're boarded. Second fleet is coming up to assist. Hopefully we don't have too much trouble. Hopefully we don't have too much trouble. After this, we'll probably be ready to bombard. And they are trying to destroy it. They are trying to kill it. They are trying to destroy it. They're going to kill our guys at the station. It's going to explode. We got it. Good. That means our guys are off. So that's a good thing. Still pretty sure they're going to wreck it, though. Those guys tried really hard to stop us from taking that station. That was actually pretty cool. I don't feel like anybody has ever really tried to stop us before. At least not with some degree of effectiveness. This is probably the strongest opponent I've ever faced, though. We need an extraordinarily brave construction ship. That guy is disabled. Um... This guy has no mission, so we'll send him. You are going to build this. We need it repaired. Just, just kill him. Just, just kill him. Oh, got away. That's fine. We are ready to start the bombarding. It is time to put an end to this planet once and for all. Once we have thoroughly bombarded it, we will land troops. They're very strong though, so it's gonna take us a while. It's gonna take us a long while. A lot of cats are going to die today. A lot of cats are gonna to die today. So I think we've finally cleared out the couple of ships they sent to Axum. And... Ooh, what, what is that fleet? What is that? I don't know, there's still ships in here. I guess we'll send the 6th fleet up here then. Go 6th fleet. I wonder who that blue sh fleet was. Mm, they're starting to crack. A lot of their units are starting to get small. Their whole front is collapsing. Uh, their last defense in the back is collapsing, so we're gonna just start landing them now. Okay, attack. And here we go. Flood the planet. On this first first go through, it's going to be super easy because we have our bonus from having all of these armor units on the attack. But this planet is going to rebel. It's going to rebel. It's going to rebel. It's going to rebel. Like The Tekans only rebelled twice, but this planet has way more population. So, so we've squashed the first rebellion, and there's the second rebellion, just as expected. We are stronger than it. But not by as much as I hoped. And there is the end of the second rebellion. Now we are under the third rebellion. We are stronger than it. That is the end of the third rebellion. 
now is time for the fourth rebellion. I, I am no longer certain we can win this. Uh, this is going to be actually really close. It's three rebellions. Gonna put some more robot troops in there, so when this is done, we'll build those up pretty fast. Ah, uh, and I'm, I, I don't think we can do this. We're gonna try to send the third fleet to drop its last two units of troops. I don't know how close they are. Okay, so this is awful. They have way more frontage than us, but we are still close to them in strength. We aren't gonna win this. That sucks. Oh, there's the third fleet just in time. Just in time. Now I think we win. All right, we did it. Will they rebel again? Because we cannot possibly stop another rebellion. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Usually it happens by now if it's gonna. Uh, think everything's safe. It's been a few days. I think we got it. <laughs> we took their capital. So yeah, I think we're going to call it there. We are going to build a whole bunch of troops for next episode. That's what I'm doing right now. Building all the troops. Building all the troops everywhere. Once we have enough troops, we're going to attack the other planets. First, we're going to clear out all of their space stations, though, so that they can't build as many ships. Once that's done, hopefully we'll have built enough troops in order to conquer the rest of them. Cutting this episode a little bit short this time because I want to try to keep them under 30 minutes. And if I finish this war, it will probably be over 50. We're doing okay on the score, but we're really going to have to defeat one of the front runners. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Huntner. I'll see you next time.